What we're going to be going over here is year-end manufacturing overhead adjustment using the proration method. And this is where we're going to either have under-allocated or over-allocated overhead here in our product cost. And we're going to have to adjust for that. And that would uh, go with the uh, job order costing system here. So for our job order costing, we would have used normal costing here for the year where we use the applied overhead rate or a predetermined or a budgeted overhead rate here. And now at the end of the year here, we could calculate our actual overhead rate. So we're going to have to make an accounting adjustments between what we applied here versus the actual overhead. So for first for our calculations here to determine our applied overhead rate, that's simply taking our budgeted total indirect cost here for the year, and that would have been $688,800, divided by the budgeted total direct labor hours for the year here, and that was $16,400. So that's going to give us a $42 per hour here overhead rate. Now, for our actual amount here, so for the year here, where our actual total indirect cost, we added $800,000. And then our actual direct labor hours we have at 16,000 hours. So that's going to give us an overhead rate here of $50 per hour. So we've got a difference. The budget or our applied rate that we used here, $42 per hour, versus our actual here of $50 per hour. Okay, so to determine our total overhead cost. A first here for our actual amount, we would have taken our actual labor our actual overhead rate here of fifty dollars per hour times those actual hours here of sixteen thousand hours here of direct labor and that's going to give us eight hundred thousand here in actual overhead that we have for the year here in those in that product costing now for what we actually applied here well we would have taken our budget at our predetermined amount here forty two dollars per hour again times our actual direct labor hours here of 16000 and that's going to give us $672,000 here in applied. So that's what we actually applied to our product cost. So the difference between our actual here of 800000 and our 672000 here in applied amount, we're going to have an under-allocated amount here of $128,000. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to adjust our accounting records for this under-allocated amount. Okay, and this is where this proration comes into play play here. So we're going to have, looking at it in terms of our percentage here, we take our actual amount here of $800,000, actual cost of $800,000, divide it by the applied amount that we have is $672,000. That's going to give us 119% of what we call a proration here. So what we're really saying is here, we're 19% under allocated here because our actual amount here of eight hundred thousand dollars is nineteen percent greater than the applied amount here of six six hundred and seventy two thousand dollars okay let's go up over here okay so for our proration method this is where again we're going to spread the adjustment of this under or over allocated overhead between the ending balance in our work and process our finished goods and our cost of goods sold so what we're going to do here is, we're, in this case, we're going to remove the under-allocated overhead that we have and restate our accounting records to the actual overhead that we've used. So our actual overhead here, again, $800,000. What we applied here was $672,000. So the prorated amount we have to account for is this $128,000. Okay, so we're going to follow this through in T-account form here. So what we're going to really be doing here, when you're dealing with these overheads, you're going to have this special control account here for the manufacturing overhead here, where you're going to for a debit for your actual amount of your overhead, and then you would have credited it based on that applied or that a budgeted amount here for the actual of overhead that was applied for the, on those products for the year here or on those jobs for the year. And that would have gone into our work and process here, again, our control account. And then our work and process would have gone into a finished goods account. And again, it's, it includes all that applied manufacturing overhead we have for the year. And then the finished goods would have gone into our cost of goods sold account. Cost of goods sold is on our income statement and the other accounts are all on our balance sheet. Okay, so let's start with this manufacturing overhead control account. Again, at the end of the year here, we would have debited it here for all our indirect cost here, that we our actual cost here of $800,000 that we calculated. And then we would have credited out here for the during the year for the total amount of that applied manufacturing overhead of six hundred and seventy two thousand so we're under our actual amount here eight hundred thousand 
what we actually have here versus the 672,000 that was applied and it flowed into our work and process and our other accounts. So the 128,000 here is uh, under our actual amount and that we have to uh, use a proration method to distribute it amongst our other accounts. So let's look, go to our work and process again on our control account. And how you want to, what you have to do here, you have to know uh, two things. You have to know your balance that's sitting in the account here before you do any of this prorating of that overhead here. And you also have to know what, it, what is included in the total overhead in your account here. Now this is uh, that, that account we're making at the, they're ending, the spread that adjustments here between the ending balance and the account. So in the case here of our work in process, we know that there was 16,000 sitting in uh, our work in process here at the end of the period here, end of the year. And we also know that there was 50,000 and we had in our balance here. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this 16,000 of the overhead that you're sitting here times that proration rate here, 19%. And that's gonna give you in this case, $3,040. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to have to add that back to your beginning balance here, $50,000. So add that to the beginning balance, $50,000. You're gonna come up with $53,000 $40 sitting in your uh, work and process account. Again, this is where you have to take and you have to prorate whatever overhead that's sitting in the account. You have to uh, prorate it for what should have actually been actually been used here. So we, in this case, we had to increase it because we were under allocating all that overhead. So we increased it by that proration amount here, $3,040. Okay, and then look again at these terms, if you wanna look at your debits and credits, the $3,040 here of that prorated amount should have been debited or you would increase your work and process account by that amount. Okay, now let's move down to our finished goods. Okay, again, move it, our work and process cost of goods manufacturing would have uh, would have credited out here in our work and process for the cost of goods manufacturing would have been debited here in our finished goods again a control account so what you would do here again you'd have to know what was in, what your what was included in the overhead here for that cost of goods manufactured and that was at the end of the period we had 31,000 sitting here and you take that times the 19% the proration rate you're going to come up with 50 $5,890. So you're going to have to add that back to your big, uh, your ending balance and your finished goods before the adjustment. And in this case, we knew our ending balance to be $75,000. Add the $5,890 to it. So our ending balance here after the adjustment is $80,890. So what we would have done here, we would have debited that amount, that prorated amount here that we had to increase that o our overhead costing by here, we would have debited it to the finished goods account. All right, so now let's move up to our cost of goods sold. Now remember, our cost of goods sold, we would have credited out here uh, whatever amount we had in our finished goods and that would have moved up into a debit here in our cost of goods sold. Okay, so again, in this case, the included overhead here that we had the, at the time or the end at the the ending balance was uh, $641,800. Take that times the prorated amount here of 19%, and you're gonna come up with $121,900. So you're gonna have to add that back to your, the beginning balance. We are the balance, the ending balance, or before the proration we have at $2 million, add the $121,900 back to it. You're gonna come up with an ending balance of $2,121,000. $900. So that's our adjustment. So you can see what's going on here. Just go back here, review it. Our applied manufacturing overhead rate, we had used that on all our job costs for the year here. And it total amount that we used was $672,000. And that flowed into our work and process, finished goods, and cost of goods sold account. But we were under, under the actual amount that we had to use by $128,000. So we have to allocate that amongst our ending balances, again, in those work and process, finished goods, and cost of goods sold account. And then we did it through uh, that prorated percentage that we calculated because we, we determined that we're under allocated here by 19%. So we had to know in each one of these accounts here, what was the included overhead here at the 
the ending balance. And we had to know that. We took that times the percentage, a prorated percentage that would be allocated to it. And then we also, then we would adjust our, uh, well, the, it was the ending balance that we had in each of those accounts. We had to adjust that for that prorated amount. In this case, we added it back here because we were under allocated. Now, the opposite would be true if we were over allocated. We would have had to, uh, in this case, if we were over allocated uh, $3,040 here, we would have credited it to our work in process and we would have had to subtract that here from our ending balance of 50,000. We'd have had to subtract it. That's if we were over allocated. Okay, so the general rule is this here. Uh, manufacturing overhead, if it's under allocated, the work in process, the finished goods, the cost of goods sold here should be increased or debited. So you would increase it or debit it here for any uh, under allocated amount here. But if the case here versus it would be decreased or credited here for over allocation of any overhead. So if we had over allocated overhead, we'd had to decrease it by and credit whatever account we had. Okay, and then one final thing here. Let's go over here. Uh, closing entries, and this is going to bring to zero here our manufacturing overhead related accounts. So for the case here where we had that under allocated amount, this is the debits and credits here on our income or on our balance sheet and our income statement. For our work in process, that finished goods and our cost of goods sold, that adjustment that we made here, it would have been debited. We'd be adding that here. And then that for our other debit would have been our manufacturing overhead control account here of 672000 So those total amounts here would uh, balance with our credit here. We would credit our manufacturing overhead that we allocated here uh, that special account here at $800,000. So debits uh, balance with our credits. So the amounts of our adjustments here plus what we had for the actual uh, or for our predetermined or that budgeted amount of overhead that we used here, those total amounts uh, balance with our manu total manufacturing overhead that we have to allocate here at $800,000. And just looking at it in our T account here for this manufacturing overhead control account, what our closing entries would be here. So we had sitting, sitting here as a debit, our actual cost here was $800,000. So we would have taken that debit amount and then we'd have credited it out here for $800,000. And then what we had applied here, that was sitting at $672,000. So we would have had the credit here. So we were just debited here in our manufacturing, uh, 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 in our debit amount here for 672,000. So they cancel each other out and they match with what we're doing here. So this is, these are the entries that we'd have to do again to bring to zero here our manufacturing overhead related accounts. Okay, so that'll summarize our topic.